God. One of the hard bits about being a short ass crushed nuts. Oh, right, that weren't too bad. I must have grown during lockdown. Okay, folks, I was here uh, a few days ago. This is one of the uh, one of my barn owl sites. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, post here, and I've planted one. Uh, the, these mounds. Uh, like I say, this is one of the second sites that I've, I saw the barn owls, and I've seen deer here as well. Um, but I was actually on the top of this, near the top of the mound watching the barn owl quarter uh, this field uh, and he came uh, right along here right up towards and he, and he flew all, almost above my head and uh, that was the reason I was just in a green jacket uh, and I startled the barn owl uh, as soon as he, he was concentrating so much on finding his meal um, when he spotted me he sort of it altered his course and, and it upset me uh, that uh, that had disturbed the owl and I, I didn't want to do that I was trying to stay out of his way um, but and that was one of the reasons why I invested uh, in the camouflage suit so so that I could actually try and observe them um, and not disturb them too much uh, but I've spent a lot of time now with barn owls uh, and I do think that if you're sat still um, I, they don't see you as a threat they, they, they seem to I'm quite I'm pretty certain I know where the owl that uh, hunts in the, this brilliant uh, land uh, isn't too far away I, I'm, I, I've walked a lot of this area around the Singleton area um, and I'm, I'm familiar with what I think is a barn owl roost, but it's on private land, and I, I don't. It's barn owls are a Schedule One protected bird uh, uh, on the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Uh, I don't want to be disturbing them in the roost. Uh, I, I don't really like photographing them when I see them carrying prey back to the young. Uh, I I've, last year uh, I backed away when I spotted that, uh, and I thought. They're busy trying to feed the young. They don't want to be harassed by me with my camera. Uh, let them get on with it. So, uh, that, but that's why I invested, trying to spend a bit more time developing my field craft skills uh, and trying to do, do, do spend time with them uh, in an ethical uh, manner. Um, I'm, I'm quite a lover of Morton Hilmer um, and quite a few other uh, wildlife photographers and, and I, I like to experience and love the wildlife but I don't want to uh, spend time being seen to uh, harass them just to get a photograph uh, it's that's not my style uh, but I, I'm making mistakes and I know I, I uh, but I learn and hopefully improve and and be less uh, uh, create less disturbance but anyway I've got a, another post I've got a, a composition in mind um, for this this site uh, I'll put an image up shortly of what I captured a couple of weeks ago a few weeks ago um, of a barn owl landing with his wings out just landing on a perch uh, <laughs> And I was experiment, experimenting with low shutter speeds. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the photograph's dreadful, but the concept uh, is, is lovely. Watching, watching an owl land or taking off, uh, any birds, I love watching them land and take off. And uh, uh, I think it'd make a, a gorgeous photograph. Um, and I, like a type of action shot if you like which uh, they're one of my favorite type kinds of uh, images is to capture uh, an action shot so I'm gonna uh, let's take you for a little wander <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, here's another. Uh, when I look at where we are, uh, if you is that an animal track or is it uh, made by human beings uh, walking walking the dogs? Um, and across all the the top area uh, near the tree line, uh, there's a bit of a footpath all the way around here. Um, and I am just watching a buzzard. Uh, in the distance, there are bu there are buzzards nearby in in this area which I've seen. Um, hence, I've I've brought my camera for that opportunistic moment. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is wander off, um, and this this grass makes absolutely beautiful background uh, for for the owls it, when they're perched. It uh, now. I've got two, so I could use the green tree lines, uh, one on top, and then using the green trees as a background. And if they come in to hover, I can I can turn those. I'm already thinking of the post-processing uh, element. Uh, so if I consider my composition and an owl landing, um, and we've got easterly winds coming over the next few days, um, so that tree line will offer. Uh, a break in the winds uh, which they do now to, for uh, for the caravans that are on the other side of uh, of that tree line uh, that's Windy Harbour uh, Caravan Park um, so that's what I'm I'm already th uh, thinking about the composition oh and here we go the uh, I don't know if you could if this camera will spot that it might be a bit uh, I think it's a buzzard circling in the area um, but I I don't like. I've got enough belly shots of buzzards. Uh, that'd be another. Uh, that'd be a, bo a bonus, wouldn't it? Um, is if the buzzard uh, landed on the post and get two species for one, for the price of one. Um, but. He's just uh, hovering into the wind. Um, I will see if it if it'll uh, if you can pick it up. There are two buzzards there. There's a pair of buzzards. Um, so they, this is oh, I can, I, there may even be three. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, bird ID is not my strong point, but I, I, I'm I'm pretty certain uh, they're buzzards. Uh, and they're just flying into the wind, doing a bit of hovering. Uh, and but anyway, let's let's go for uh, uh, just something else to point out. What I've noted here is there are patches uh, of all this flattened grass. Uh, and I did come uh, one morning to do a, a sunrise. Sunrises uh, over over in that area there. And as I entered the area a deer scarpered from this this area so i do know that there are deer in in this area and the long grass actually offers them fantastic cover um, so it's another one of those areas that i've explored and i'm sharing with people now just get a bit boggy in places it's a bit marshy uh, Okay, I'm gonna place one, uh, one, uh, one here. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna uh, place one stake here. A shorter one, uh, and I will speed this up so you're not uh, bored to tears. So, my plan is I could actually lie down in that cover 
Um, and hopefully not disturb him and, and get me shots. And I'm also considering whether to just place a nice piece of perch. Something that fits in nicely with the composition. Um, so I can just I can just check that. Now obviously I'm not going to be uh, this close. But the background there looks quite nice. Um, and I'd obviously a bit further further back. Uh, and I may do such a little bit of cutting back just to stop uh, of any of the interferences. So I'm going to uh, reposition you. I'm going to the top top of the uh, mound and just make sure that the next post is has got some green background behind it. Okay, so as you can see, this uh, it's a massive expanse of of land. Uh, I was tempted to put my drone up, but it's quite windy today, and uh, and give you a look around via the drone. Uh, okay, like I say, uh, in winter time, uh, the elves do like to post hunt. So, and and then when you look at this land, there's absolutely. Uh, I've I watched him hunting here for half an hour, and. No, from what I've learned, uh, part of me is thinking uh, I'm pretty sure they'd love a rest stop uh, and I know that they could go and land on uh, the posts that I climbed over to get onto the land um, but they like to, to listen, uh, they like to post hunt so like I say I've put one lower down they, this is for the welfare of the elves, it'd be nice to get a photograph but uh, we've got a cold snap coming up so uh, and as these winds shift to easterlies, that's what the, the other thing that I've, I've considered it. Easterlies, uh, they are, I think the owl may hunt along, um, along this, this tree line here because the wind, uh, <coughs> that tree line will break the, break the wind up and uh, it may be able to hunt a bit better. But I didn't see the owls here all the time, so uh, it's a vast area uh, and I think I'd have to stake it out uh, for quite long periods of time to just ensure that the owls are, are using it. But uh, these are just bits of scrap wood um, that uh, are a bit hidden behind my shed and I, I thought, I, actually, let, let's put them to uh, some use and, and let the owls have a rest stop whilst they're hunting. Okay, folks, I'm going to sign off here now. I, I am going to show some photographs of the uh, of my previous barn owl session here. Um, but I am going to sign off and uh, hopefully next time I'm back I've, it's, uh, I'll be filming some, uh, some action 
uh, and some time with uh, the barn owls or, or other birds of prey, whatever. Um, but anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, don't comment, any feedback. Uh, I love engagement, uh, positive or negative, feedback's feedback. Uh, I enjoy all, all engagement, so uh, don't be afraid to comment. Um, and uh, thanks very much for watching again, and uh, bye for now, folks.